Some food for thought. Would you rather not deal with a chatty waiter uh, okay. when you can just order your own meal on your own? Sounds like a good idea. Julie Watts of our San Francisco station, CBS 5, tells us some restaurants are now using tablet technology to create do-it-yourself ordering. Here are the menus. Oh, those are iPads. <laughs> I, guess, I guess this is how we're ordering. From fine dining to fast food, technology is slowly but surely transforming the way we eat out. Here at the Lark Creek Steakhouse in San Francisco, they're in the preliminary testing stages of these new interactive iPad menus. And so far... This is great. I like the pictures. I like to see what I'm going to eat. In addition to high-resolution photos, there are detailed descriptions of each dish, along with prices, wine pairings. And it even tells you the temperature you meat. It's great. So we're really, we're really kind of working on, on the future of dining. Rajat Marwa developed the iPad menu, now being tested at Lark Creek, and he's just one of many looking to capitalize on the emergence of tablet technology. From other steakhouses in Atlanta and Chicago to burger joints in L.A., touchscreen menus are popping up from coast to coast. And while the tablets do vary in design and function, there seems to be one common denominator. So far, Marwa says sales nationwide have increased by as much as 10 percent. The reason for that is because when consumers have more information, they feel more comfortable. At Barbaco in San Francisco's financial district, they've had iPad wine lists for over a year. Do people actually buy more wine because of the iPad? Particularly the wines by the glass, yes. Our wine sales went up between 5 and 7 percent. Although initially, Lark Creek Steakhouse saw a jump in sales, they're not completely sold on the device, which is projected to cost about $2 per day per menu. It's going to take a lot of extra uh, steaks to be sold to, to pay for our technology that advances this. And here they still order through a waiter, something Rob Black of the Golden Gate Restaurant Association says may be irreplaceable. There will always be a role for the human component as well. And it's when done well, they complement each other. And I think it goes back to what experience does that customer want? Well, the customers we met still want a waiter along with technology on the side. Julie Watts, CBS News, San Francisco. Yeah, good luck on those days when somebody forgets to charge the iPad or they lock up. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I like doing? the idea because you can get your check a lot quicker. I mean, there are a lot of pluses to it. The only thing I don't like to, one, it's going to put some people on jobs. Two, I always ask, which is better on the menu? And the tablet's not going to tell me that. Nope. Right? It's always get to get, best to get the advice of the waiter or waitress. Yeah, it's true.